Hello and welcome to Hyperdog Digital. This is Scott and today we're going to take a look at this beauty right here. This is the Google Pixel 9 Fold Pro. Or I'm sorry, the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. I guess we got to get that uh, in the correct order. Uh, here is the phone right here. And this is just really kind of a first impressions. Uh, I've only had this for a couple of days so I haven't really had a chance to dig into a lot of the functionality or uh, the pictures or anything like that so this is just more or less taking it out of box and taking a look at how it looks and how it feels it really is uh, I did have the original pixel fold uh, I don't have it anymore because I did send it back to uh, get a rebate on this but I do have one of my cases uh, at least part of it that you can kind of see the difference in size compared to the previous one so you can see it is a little bit taller it's not really any wider at least it doesn't look like it you know as far as comparing it here to the to the case and when I did have it I did compare it a little bit and uh, it, it was really seemed to be about the same size width wise but it is definitely a little taller I don't know why but it seems to work a little bit better it seems to fit better in my hand and just be a little bit easier to use uh, with that extra height I, I, I don't know why it just seems like it uh, the hinge doesn't seem to stick out quite as far it seems to be a little more refined the whole phone itself looks very premium. It's very nice. I like the, the look of everything, the back. Uh, you know, the camera bump kind of sticks out quite a bit. Not real fond of that, but, you know, really, uh, I don't use my phones without a case because I don't trust myself uh, to not drop it or bang it into something. So once you put any case on here, it really kind of eliminates that bump and protects it a lot better. But uh, the, the metal on the sides all along the sides of it look amazing and they don't really seem to maintain any any fingerprints or anything like that I mean the screen does a little bit but you can't expect that with any cell phones anymore but uh, on this side you have the power button and the volume rocker the power button also works as your fingerprint reader and we'll go ahead and uh, open it up big huge brilliant bright screen works really good very nice and uh, responsive uh, and you can see if you do turn uh, it off you can see there is a crease in there a little tiny bit of a crease but really when the screen is on I, I haven't noticed it at all I've watched plenty of TV shows and movies while I've had it and uh, haven't haven't noticed the crease at all to, to bother me uh, when you do open it, as far as the back goes, it does open and stay f really nice and, and flush and very flat. And uh, I don't know, it just it, I really like it so far. It's a lot lighter, a lot more comfortable. I think it's a good step up from the previous previous Pixel Fold. So this is uh, so far, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. But I'm going to go ahead and use it for a while, obviously, and uh, I'll come back with another video to go into a little bit more detail on the, the pictures, the picture quality, the video quality, and just the overall performance of using it, uh, you know, when I get a little bit more time to spend with it and actually try it and test it and put it through the paces. So watch out for that video. It should be coming here probably in the next few weeks. And if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments, and I will see you again next time on HyperDog Digital. Thank you.